Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I am Dr. Muhammad Mahtab Alam and I am discussing about regression analysis. So this is the Excel output of regression analysis and here we are uh, we will focus on SE and SBI from where it will come SE and SBI. So here SE is 41 41.33032 this is SE and SBI is 0 0.03297 this is SBI this is the Excel output and SE and SBI you can calculate by this way comparing a standard error variation of observed Y value from the regression line see this is a small variation because all the dots are closer all the all the dots are near to each other so you can say this is a smaller variation and if the dots are far from each other the distance is big between two dots then it is called large variation between the two variables between the two values here variation in the slope of regression line from different possible sample see the variation here and here it is here it is zero variation and large variation like this the gap is heavier the gap is big so it is large variation here and here the here also the in, in comparison to this one it is the bigger large SBI inferences about the slope t test for a population slope is there a linear relationship between x and y this is the hypothesis so null and alternate hypothesis will be h0 b1 is equal to 0 no linear relationship and h1 b is not equal to 0 linear relationship does exist so test statistics is equal t is equal to b1 minus beta 1 divided by sbi where degree of freedom is n minus 2 and b1 is equal to sample regression slope coefficient beta 1 is a hypothesized slope and SB1 is equal to estimator of the standard error of the slope. Here you have example. Here same example we have uh, considered. So estimated regression equation will be this house price is equal to 98.25 plus this much a square per square feet. This slope of this model is 0 0.1098 does a square footage of the house affect its sale price this is the question so the t statistics is 3.329 from excel output just take intercept and square feet so this is the value of b1 and this is sbi value and this is t statistics and this is the p value what does it mean there is sufficient evidence that a square footage affect house price there is sufficient evidence because it is less than 0 0.05 at 95 percent confidence level or you can say 5 percent significance level so p value is less so it is sufficient evidence that the square footage affect house price and it goes into the rejection area because the value is bigger than this 